Hello guys, my name is Johnny and I'm the author of Grocery Crud. Many people were asking me for a video guide of how to install Grocery Crud in their local machine and that's why I did create this video. This is a very simple guide of how to install Grocery Crud, so don't worry if you are a beginner in PHP or you don't have any experience with Code Igniter at all. <music> Ok, so before starting we need to make sure that we have installed some basic software in our local machine. As you can also see from your screen, I'm using uh, macOS, but uh, as the most of users are using Windows, anything that I'm about to describe is also used with the exact same way on Windows as well. So first thing that we will need to make sure that we have installed Apache, MySQL and PHP in our local machine. As this is usually requiring a lot of steps for beginners, in order to quickly do that, we can simply install one software to do that for us. For example, for macOS, I'm using MAMP. So what I actually did is installing the software MAMP on my laptop, like any other software by clicking next, next, next. And as you can also see, Apache, PHP and MySQL are now installed in my local machine. For Windows, I recommend using XAMPP or WAMP. I will link the software that I did just describe in the description below. For now, keep in mind that they all have the same structure. The structure is that Apache and MySQL are services that are running on the background and you can start them or stop them at any time. I will not go into further details on the installation, but if you would like me to create another video specifically for the installation of Apache, MySQL and PHP, please write it at the comments below. For now, just make sure that you've installed PHP, Apache and MySQL and that they are actually running correctly on your local machine. Next step is to install Code Igniter. As you can also see, I did create an empty folder with name Grocery Crud Demo on the root directory of Apache. To check that the URL that we have here is pointing at the correct path, we will simply create a new file with name index.php and write a simple hello writing hello and pressing command s and now saving it to the correct path that in our case is var woo woo grocery crud demo and now let's see if we can see the message hello if we refresh our page great now that we can see it we can continue with the installation of code igniter okay so now in order to install code igniter we will need to download it and copy all the files into our folder so let's Google Code Igniter download and download the latest version of Code Igniter version 3. Now the zip file is in my downloads folder, so I will unzip it there. And then copy all the files into the folder Grocery Crud Demo. Check that your file structure will look something like the one that you can see on your screen. And we did just install Code Igniter. Seriously guys, a copy paste of the files is the only thing that you will need. In order to check that everything is working as expected, you have to simply open the URL of the folder. Do you remember the previous hello message? This is now replaced with Code Igniter Framework. So if you refresh the web page, you should be able to see the welcome message of Code Igniter that will look something like this. If you can see it, that means that everything was installed correctly. You don't need to have any configurations for now. Have in mind that if you are on Windows, the URL will be the same without the port 8888, so it will probably be localhost slash grocery crud demo. Grocery crud installation is as simple as Code Igniter installation. By simply putting it, we will download the files and copy them into our project. So let's do that now. Googling download grocery crud and downloading the latest version of Grocery Crud. And as we also did with the Code Igniter installation, we are unzipping our zip file and copy all the files within our project. One minor notice here is that once we will get the prompt if you want to replace the files etc, pick the Merge button. The same goes for Windows as well. Now in theory we have also installed Grocery Crud. Of course this video is not over yet, we will need to do some configurations first in order to see it working.
Before the configuration of Code Igniter and Grocery CRUD, we will need to create a database if we are not already having one. As the project is new, we will create an empty database and import the examples that we have at the source code of Grocery CRUD. As you saw, I've used phpMyAdmin to import the database and I'm suggesting for you to also do the same as phpMyAdmin is very easy to use and it's also pre-installed with XAMPP or WAMP. You simply need to navigate to localhost slash phpMyAdmin. Now in order to make sure that our project is configured to use the correct database, we will have to go to our projects folder and navigate to the application, then config folder and open the database.php file. There we will add our configurations for our database. The final file will look something like this. Great, now we are ready to configure Grocery CRUD and make it work. The only configuration that you will need with Grocery CRUD that in reality is a configuration of Code Igniter is to make sure that your base URL is configured correctly. In order to do that, go to application then config and open the config.php file. At around line 26, you will see the code uh, config base URL that it's empty. Replace that line with your base URL. In our case, for example, it is localhost slash grocery grad demo. And make sure that you will have the slash at the end. The most common mistake that people is doing is that they are forgetting to add the base URL and they have it as empty. So it's very important to not skip this step. And now pressing save and we are ready to open our examples controller and see Grocery CRUD working as promised. Now in order to see it working, let's navigate to the URL of our project and add the following at the end, slash index.php slash examples. And this will navigate us into our examples controller that it's based on the application, then controllers, then examples.php. And if we click to any of the links we can see grocery crud that it's working as expected so as you can see the add edit delete is working smoothly without the need of adding anything extra now that we show that our examples are working let's explain step by step how everything is working magically and how we'll work on your project so let's explain what we did here by pressing the link customers, we did navigate to index.php slash examples slash customers management and it's like running the function customer management. There you can see that we are starting with the line crud equals new grocery crud that is required in order to create the grocery crud object. Second step is to set the database table with the function set table and add the table name that in our case is customers. Third is adding a subject for our CRUD. In our example, it is customer with capital C at the beginning and the plural is customers. Although this is not required, try to add it always as it makes a huge difference for the end user to understand what the CRUD is all about. Lastly is the render function that it creates all the magic in order to make it work. For now, let's remove all the other functions just to make it simpler for you and see the results with only those four lines of code. Checking one more time that it's working. Great, as you can see, it is working as expected and the columns are all the columns of customers. I'm sure that many people are still confused of how everything is working together. So let's go in even more details of what happens after the render. If we go back now to our examples and use the function var dump to show the results of the render, we will see that we will print only three properties, JS files, CSS files, and the output. This is the most important part to understand about Grocery CRUD as Grocery CRUD is a combination of the output and CSS and JS files. I'm saying that as the most common mistake is that people are just printing the output and they are expecting to see the CRUD working. If you do that, the result will look something like that. If you see that your screen looks something like this, then it's probably because you forgot to add the CSS and the JS files. Now adding back the line of uh, example output, and as you see, everything is working as expected. So let's see what happens in details in the example output function to understand what I mean and maybe change it for your project needs. As you can also see, this is only a view that takes as an argument the output of the render. 
If we open the view file, we can see that it has a for each statement for JS files, a for each statement for CSS files, and an echo of the output as the output is simply a string. Then and only then the grocery crud will work for you. Lastly, if you will use a different controller, don't forget to add these three lines at the constructor of your controller and that's all that you need to know in order to install grocery crud. If grocery crud still doesn't work for you, then try to read the documentation as there is a detailed guide of how to do it step by step. I will have the links at the description below. If though after the video and the documentation you are still having problems, make sure that you will ask the question to the active and very friendly forums at the website. That's it guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. If you like to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe and speak to you guys to the next video. Bye!